Well, often we talk about Boblo Island, it's really about memories and the boats and thoughts of past visits to yeah. Boblo. Well, what about the now and the future? The island sits at the southern end of the Detroit River before it meets Lake Erie, and now it's owned by Amico, a Windsor-based development construction company. Jason Colthorpe met a husband and wife who own and rent a home on the island and got a rare opportunity to see it and how the island appears well on its way to again becoming a destination. Getting to Boblo Island is much different now than in its heyday. Instead of a huge boat carrying hundreds of people, just a few vehicles take a short ferry ride from Amherstburg, Canada, over to the island. Boblo, which is now known as Bois Blanc, is private. But it is certainly beginning to bustle again. The Boblo Island Amusement Park was a unique destination for families in both the U.S. and Canada for 95 years, beginning all the way back in 1898. Since it closed in 1993, though, it's drifted away into Metro Detroiters' memories. But some of the old sites are still there, waiting to have life breathed back into them. So it does sleep six. Melissa and Dave Buceo own a home on the island, and currently it's the only one available to rent as an Airbnb. So there's a lot of people that have sought us because they used to come to the island. So as soon as they saw that there was a rental here that they could come and bring their family and share some of the memories with, they, um, they found us and they've come. That was kind of the draw for them, too. There's a lot of construction still going on. Yeah. And as they took us around the island, there was a clear vision of the future that's dotted with pieces of the past. This is a little of what old Boblo Island looks like today, and it was one of the more popular places, the dance hall. I think it's so cool. I love it. I, I just want to see it restored, though. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful building. Across from the dance hall and lining the marina are several lots already sold and ready to have 220 homes built to go with the 150 that have been on the north end of the island for years. Just down the road from there is the lighthouse and the restored blockhouse that was used in the War of 1812. What does it add to the island now that people live here? Is it just almost like having a piece of history in the backyard? Yeah, it's nostalgic and it's the old with the new. It's, to me, it's so cool. You'll even spot the boat ramp that was once the main entry to the island. It's really eerie to see it so overgrown and rusted out now because you can really see how when people got off the boat and arrived here, almost how welcoming this was and what a nice little area this would be to arrive at Boblo Island. Yeah, it's perfect day to paddleboard or canoe. There is still plenty of nature to explore really, and even point. some endangered species that call the island home, joining more and more families there every day. We see the potential, so we're going to be able to watch it grow. Uh, yes, so excited. Every time I'm here, I'm like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is Boblo, and I can't believe I'm here. Wow. Well, thank you, Jason. Amico told us the blockhouse, which goes back to the War of 1812, has several artifacts on display that have been found over the yeah. years on the island. And for more information on Amico's plans for homes on the island, head to clickondetroit.com. We also put a link to Melissa and Dave's Airbnb, by the way. They said they get renters from everywhere who comment on how much they love Pablo.